Hawaii's energy goal is simple. 40% of our power must come from renewable energy by the year 2030. And while that may seem like a long while off, the journey has already begun. Businesses are opting for more efficient energy use as a way to cut costs, and residents are beginning to comprehend that what they do or don't do today will affect tomorrow. A wise use of resources now will ensure we have energy today and tomorrow. Aloha, welcome to Energy Today, today's technology and energy for you. My name is Valen and in this episode, we'll be checking out the renaming ceremony for a fuel cell test facility in Honolulu. Then we turn it over to Ashley for another exciting edition of Bytes TV. And finally, we'll be going to Marino School to find out more about an after-school program that teaches students to be more energy efficient. So let's get things started by heading on over to a fuel cell test facility that has recently undergone a name change. Watch this. We are here to recognize like a rededication and repurposing of what used to be called the Hawaii Fuel Cell Test Facility. Its new name going forward will become the Hawaii Sustainable Energy Research Facility. I actually really like the abbreviation better. It's, uh, we like to say high surf. H-I-S-E-R-F, high surf. What it really reflects is that about 10 years ago, a little less than 10 years ago, when this facility was first created, a lot of the focus was on fuel cell research. The main purpose of the facility here before the unveiling was to really research fuel cells. However, over the years, the activities have grown with our partner, Hawaiian Electric Company. And now we're also now concerned about battery storage for the grid. And both devices, battery and fuel cells, it, it's all electrochemistry. And I would say it's the same principle. So essentially we're enlarging the activities here. Electrochemistry is essentially, in simple terms, it's like chemical reactions that do involve electrons. And electrons is essentially the particle that you know, create current in devices, in electrical devices. So electrochemistry is really at the interface of chemistry and electrical engineering, if you want, in, in, in simple terms. If you were to look around here, you would see different types of laboratory equipment. There is anything from the very initial cutting edge research, looking at different types of fuel cell devices, chemistries. What you will also see is, as we go into the future and get more and more into battery energy storage R&D, you will see testing of different types of battery components, different types of battery chemistries. We are combining, actually the real work happens here, and it's being done by researchers from the University of Hawaii. Hawaiian Electric, where we play a role, is not only hosting this facility on our location, but when we are looking to how to use batteries on our electric system, we are actually plugging in fairly large batteries in different locations of our island grids. The partnership with uh, ECO really started in 2003 with the unveiling of this facility. We're currently on HECO property here, so the equipment may belong to university, but we essentially are a tenant, essentially, of HECO. So they actually allow us to use the space here to do uh, the research. We do research at different levels. We essentially try to understand materials that are used to make fuel cell, the key ones. We also look at devices themselves, the fuel cell itself, and also we're looking at systems as well. So there's a progression from the basics elements, the materials, up to the systems which actually compose actual applications. And we're looking at different elements different aspect of all of those. One of the challenges that we have with what we call variable types of renewable energy, such as wind or solar power, is that it's the output of energy varies, whether it is because of the fluctuation in wind or cloud cover coming over and blocking the sun from the photovoltaic panels. So it's very important that we keep our electric grid in perfect balance all the time. And when I say balance, we are balancing the amount of energy that's being used at any given moment with the amount of energy that's being produced at that same moment. It has to be in perfect balance. So when you look at the future as we add more wind and more solar, we will continually have to figure out ways to have very quick 
ways of balancing the grid as the fluctuation of the wind or the sun comes. And energy storage is really, really the potential device that will help us do that you know, very quickly. In 2008, the state of Hawaii and Hawaiian Electric signed a pretty historic agreement from our standpoint. We call it the Clean Energy Agreement. What it did was put down in writing a very strong, very clear commitment to get off of fossil fuel. So clean energy is our future. We have to figure out how do we do that here in Hawaii. We have some unique circumstances in the state of Hawaii given the sizes and types of our electric grids. But everywhere you go, you see the growth in renewable energy, whether it's rooftop solar systems, wind farms. We are exploring other types of renewable resources coming from the ocean, biomass, additional geothermal. So our commitment that we spelled out back in 2008 is now starting to come to fruition as you see more and more of these projects around town. As we get further into the future, grid storage, grid energy storage, the balancing will become even more critical. So that's why we're here today. This is really what it's going to take to make us successful. The other thing I wanted to mention is that when we look forward to the future and we look to really creating a clean energy industry here in Hawaii, this is the example. We are actually doing the work, the cutting edge development to work here in Hawaii. We're not just buying equipment from somewhere else and plugging it into our grids. After the break, we'll be checking in with Ashley over at Bytes TV, where she'll be highlighting some interesting mobile apps. All that and more after this. Got Vegas on your mind? Get Vacations Hawaii on the line. Hawaii's number one choice to Las Vegas has everything you need to get to Vegas, including new wide-body 767s with three classes of travel. Call today for all-inclusive charter, group, or custom travel packages. 591-4777. Vacation Hawaii, your reliable and direct connection to Las Vegas. At PCAT, we work and play like you do. We surf, teach, participate in charity softball games. We maintain networks and we've sailed the Pacific. We spend time with children and dream about a bright future. Actually, we do more than dream. We train motivated professionals to excel in technology fields. You don't have to go away for training. PCAT brings the resources to you. So now the ball's in your hands. Get the advanced technology training you need right here in Hawaii. The holidays are here at Ben Franklin Crafts. We have everything you need to create your own season. Cheers to the glamour of champagne and ice with cool platinum, elegant sparkles, and shimmery silver. Show your wild style with holiday chic, fashionable animal prints, and more. Tis the season for fa -la, la with cheery bright reds and greens. Come see all of our holiday themes and projects galore. There's so much to inspire you to create your own season here at Ben Franklin Crafts. Millions of people log on to the internet every day. Social media sites are the web's most popular destinations. They provide an easy way for people to stay in touch with friends and family, and even make new friends. Your company can network with clients in the same way. Our team of social media experts can help you deliver fresh and engaging content to hundreds of social media sites. The kind of content that gets clients excited about doing business with you. Emergingnewmedia.com Welcome back. I'll be heading over to Ashley to hear about the latest news to come out of the tech world. Yes, it's another edition of Bytes TV. Hey guys, it's Ashley welcoming you to another episode of Bytes TV where I'll be bringing you the latest in tech news, gadgets, and tips. Today I'll be talking about several new mobile and computer apps, Snapheel, The Bus, and Weird But True. Our first app, Snapheel, can get rid of unwanted images, people, or objects from your photos. Snapheel also has restoring and editing capabilities to make your picture even better than it was before. I know I've taken great scenic pictures of Hawaii, like 
the beautiful mountains, but each time it doesn't come out exactly the way I've hoped. With Snap Heal, I can easily remove the things I don't want, and it's easy to use. Just in case I get lost, I can also look at the built-in tutorials with what to do next. So all of this is great, but what really won me over was Snap Heal's feature to fix old scanned pictures. Let me explain. Maybe you have a torn picture of your grandfather when he was young. With Snap Heal, you can fix those tears and make the picture look brand new. Like other photo editing software, Snap Heal also has basic photo editing tools like noise reduction, cropping, and controlling your light levels. Now, for you well-experienced photo editors out there, Snap Heal also allows you to import images to Photoshop, Adobe Lightroom, iPhoto, and Aperture with their Snap Heal plugin. I'm not much of a professional photographer, but Snap Heal works for me, not only because of its ability to remove unwanted images, but because after I'm done editing my photos, I can immediately post it on Facebook, Flickr, and Twitter so that my family and friends can see the pictures too. So now a little on the technical side, but what makes Snap Heal get rid of those blemishes, people, objects, and fix old scan pictures? It's because they have a smart pixel identification algorithm. This pretty much means that Snap Heal, using numerical calculations, recognizes the pixels of your photo to know what to keep when you want to get rid of an unwanted object. So try Snap Heal out and see how much more amazing your photos can be. Now that you've seen what this app can do, take a day off to relax and snap away with your camera because you'll have long-lasting photos to share with your family and friends. Now for our next app, have you ever waited a long time for the bus without knowing when the next bus is going to come? For you long-waiting commuters, with the bus app, you can know the exact time the bus is arriving and even track the bus's exact location. The bus app allows you to find nearby bus stops, search for real-time bus arrivals, save frequently used bus stops, and receive reminders of when your bus is arriving. When you first open the app, you will see Find Nearby Bus Stops which Google maps your current location and finds every bus stop around your area. The search for a bus stop allows you to search for the specific bus stop by their bus stop number or the street name. You can also save your bus stops by adding it to your favorites list, which you can later find in the heart-shaped icon at the bottom of your page. Under the information icon, you can get fare prices, know when the bus is on holiday schedule, and see any routes that might have changed. Sometimes you know where you want to go, but you don't know how to get there. If you click on any bus stop number, it will give you a list of buses that will stop in that location. You can then see a Google map of the route a specific bus takes. You can also search nearby bus stops of your arrival destination to see the list of buses that stop there. The Oahu bus system is a great way to travel, especially if you don't want to pay for gas. This app is a great app to have for anyone living on Oahu. Now you don't have to wait around for hours, wondering when the bus is going to be arriving. So now you know the features of the app. Go take an exciting ride on the bus. Up next, did you know a Z-Donk is a cross between a female donkey and a male zebra? Or that girls have more taste buds than boys do? Random! For more weird facts, fun for you and the kids, download Weird But True by National Geographic free on iTunes. A fairly simple app, Weird But True lets kids read a fact and rate them according to its level of weirdness. A simple swipe away from the next facts. You can save your favorite facts, post them on Twitter, Facebook, or send it to a friend by email. Random Facts keeps me and my friends entertained while we're all sitting around at the coffee shop. This app is filled with so many random and cool facts. I definitely recommend this app for kids and even adults. You may even find a cool fact you never knew before. So you've heard about three different apps today, Snap Heal, The Bus, and Weird But True. All great apps and all fun for your family. Thanks for listening in on today's episode of Bytes TV. I'm Ashley giving you the latest in tech news, gadgets, and tips. I'll see you next time. Bye. When we come back, we'll be taking a trip over to Marino School to learn more about an after-school program that focuses on energy efficiency and conservation. That story is coming up after this.
Looking for something new and exciting? Hawaii State Federal Credit Union wants to invite you to discover Kaka'ako on December 8th from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. at Ward Centers. With over a dozen food trucks and food vendors, there's definitely something for everybody. Come check out the Ward Centers Fashion Show at 6.30 p.m. and stick around for a free concert by some of Hawaii's top entertainers. Food, music, art, and fashion. Come discover Kaka'ako on December 8th. For more details, log on to discoverkaka'ako.com or wardcenters.com slash events. Millions of people log onto the internet every day. Social media sites are the web's most popular destinations. They provide an easy way for people to stay in touch with friends and family, and even make new friends. Your company can network with clients in the same way. Our team of social media experts can help you deliver fresh and engaging content to hundreds of social media sites. The kind of content that gets clients excited about doing business with you. Emergingnewmedia.com Got Vegas on your mind? Get Vacations Hawaii on the line. Hawaii's number one choice to Las Vegas has everything you need to get to Vegas, including new wide-body 767s with three classes of travel. Call today for all-inclusive charter, group, or custom travel packages. 591-4777. Vacations Hawaii, your reliable and direct connection to Las Vegas. At PCAT, we work and play like you do. We surf, teach, participate in charity softball games. We maintain networks and we've sailed the Pacific. We spend time with children and dream about a bright future. Actually, we do more than dream. We train motivated professionals to excel in technology fields. You don't have to go away for training. PCAT brings the resources to you. So now the ball's in your hands. Get the advanced technology training you need right here in Hawaii. Welcome back. Up next in our show, we'll be finding out more on a program that teaches kids how to be more energy efficient. Let's take a look. My team of highly trained recent graduates from the University of Hawaii, ranging from engineering and urban planning and business, have trained a bunch of students from three different schools how to energy audit their own school. So a lot of people in our trainings have never heard of energy before or even thought about it. And so when they get them excited about the idea that energy is imported here to Hawaii in the form of oil that pollutes and that it makes us dependent, when they start thinking about being energy independent, that we could supply our own energy using renewable energy by reducing the amount of energy we actually need through programs like this that create efficiency. Then they realized that we could use the sun and the wind to provide our own sources of energy. So the energy auditing is a huge part of this. It's basically measuring how we use energy at every single place in the building, including the lighting, the air conditioning, every single thing that we plug in. So we've actually done studies and proved that headaches and eye strain and stress go down when we get lighting into appropriate levels. If you're a few degrees off your comfort zone, you actually lose 20% of your ability to concentrate and be productive. So it actually has a ripple effect that not only affects money, but it affects the people that will use the buildings. So energy auditing is taking an inventory of everything that uses energy, comparing it to what's ideal, and reducing the excess energy use so that we only use what we need, and we can then use renewable energy to fulfill that need much easier. And at the end of the day, we could be an energy independent state. We could be a model for the world that everyone looks to and says, wow, I went to Hawaii and not only did I see the beaches and feel the aloha spirit, I realized that an entire region can provide their own energy and be energy independent. Maybe we should try that too. So today we have Mary Knoll and we have Academy of the Pacific and we have Iolani School. These are middle school students and high school students and we teach them using very simple equipment how to, in a very short time, find huge energy savings that would cost absolutely nothing for the school to implement and would make their classrooms more comfortable and more efficient for the learning environment. Students come into teams and they have a two-hour workshop where we teach them everything we know. We give them energy audit kits. They have a dedicated energy trainer from our program, go to their school with them, show them how to do an audit, basically be there for them in every single way for a two to four week period. 
Then we all come back together, we showcase what they found, we figure out all the different energy savings, and we usually adds up to about $100,000 for each training session like this. So students learn that just by simply turning off appliances when they're not using them, bringing the temperature into comfortable levels rather than freezing cold, and making the lights into healthy standards that are nationally recognized rather than sitting in really bright rooms, that by doing just those simple things, they save thousands and thousands of energy. So for example, one teacher went home and made these small changes at home and saves $100 every single month. Brigham Young University did this for their campus and in July alone saved $44,000 just by bringing their lighting and air conditioning into healthy levels and the students led the way. We started doing this type of training about six years ago and it really culminated into the SEED program, the Student Energy Ambassador Development Program this year and already we've trained over a dozen schools and we are scheduled to continue training every month. We've also worked with Kalani High School, Mililani, Waipahu, Eva Beach. We've had a huge diversity of schools participate in this program. The students are encouraged to sign the energy audit kits, which their school gets to keep, out of the library and bring it home and show their parents what they've learned. And students are actually reporting on our Facebook page that they're saving all sorts of energy with their family. And we always encourage the students to talk to their parents about what they're going to do with the savings because they can say, hey, 50% of that should go towards this family trip, not just be used for you know things that I'm not so interested in. So we actually encourage them to have the talk with their parents and say, hey, if we sit down and we save this energy, what as a family do we want to do with the extra money or a portion of the extra money? And in a month, these students have gone from not really understanding or caring about energy to being experienced auditors and identifying over $100,000 in energy savings for their schools. When they come back together, we actually have a certification ceremony where they are certified energy ambassadors for the program. And they take the kids in the training and they go and train other students. We had seven students from Mililani High School go and train 33 other students and they were able to energy audit their entire school. So the students become teachers, the students become trainers. A lot of the students that have participated in this program have graduated and created really interesting careers that never existed before. I've had students become sustainability and energy program coordinators for nonprofits. I've seen them start their own businesses where they do energy auditing. I've seen them go and start educational programs where they work with a corporation and then teach people within the corporation all about sustainability and how to save money with waste, water, energy. So they actually come with a lot of value because the amount of savings that they identify by implementing sustainability for a company or for a building shows that it's worth investing in them as an employee. They really pay their own salaries and it's really hard to say that a lot of different jobs could do that. I think the most exciting thing about this program is that students are incredibly empowered to become experts in things that they thought were someone else's realm that were something that would be really hard to understand or do anything about and they realize that they can not only find these savings, they can make small changes themselves that actually add up and it's a very empowering experience for them and as you can tell from the training it's really fun. We do have a website, it's www.hawaiiseed.org SEED is spelled S-E-A-D for Student Energy Ambassador Development. On that site we have all the different pictures of all of our different trainings, all of the results, and a lot of encouraging and informative information that can help anyone save energy. We have a Facebook page that's Hawaii SEED as well, Hawaii S-E-A-D. We'd love anyone to come and visit and like us. You'll see pictures constantly being posted by students all over the state that are doing all sorts of energy auditing with their findings, with their questions, and just with the fun that they're having. And every time they post to our Facebook in the first week of their auditing, we send their group a pizza coupon reward so that they can you know, do some team building and really become leaders that are inspired to get together, learn from each other, and teach other students as well. This generation is actually really aware of what's going on in the world, and they're really concerned, and they're actually really ready to take action. And they're the ones that are inheriting the future. So they're the ones that when they see sea level rise that's going to happen in 50 years, they're going to be here and experiencing that. So they're really eager to take part in the solutions and to lead the way for their communities, both at home and at school. And so I think that's a really inspiring model to really work with the students and know that as young as 10, we work with 10 year olds that go and find $10,000, $20,000 of energy savings for their school. So this generation is really showing us how it can be done. I think just the most exciting thing about the program is that everyone can be empowered to know the details of what can make a difference and that it's not just the realm of experts that can make the changes that we need to make a different world and that all of these small changes really could add up to an energy independent Hawaii that would be a model for the world that we could all be really proud of. Don't go away because Energy Today will be right back after this. At 
PCAT, we work and play like you do. We surf, teach, participate in charity softball games. We maintain networks and we've sailed the Pacific. We spend time with children and dream about a bright future. Actually, we do more than dream. We train motivated professionals to excel in technology fields. You don't have to go away for training. PCAT brings the resources to you. So now the ball's in your hands. Get the advanced technology training you need right here in Hawaii. The holidays are here at Ben Franklin Crafts. We have everything you need to create your own season. Cheers to the glamour of champagne and ice with cool platinum, elegant sparkles, and shimmery silver. Show your wild style with holiday chic, fashionable animal prints, and more. Tis the season for fa -la, la with cheery bright reds and greens. Come see all of our holiday themes and projects galore. There's so much to inspire you to create your own season here at Ben Franklin Crafts. Looking for something new and exciting? Hawaii State Federal Credit Union wants to invite you to discover Kaka'ako on December 8th from 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. at Ward Centers. With over a dozen food trucks and food vendors, there's definitely something for everybody. Come check out the Ward Centers Fashion Show at 6.30 p.m. and stick around for a free concert by some of Hawaii's top entertainers. Food, music, art, and fashion. Come discover Kaka'ako on December 8th. For more details, log on to discoverkaka'ako.com or wardcenters.com slash events. Got Vegas on your mind? Get Vacations Hawaii on the line. Hawaii's number one choice to Las Vegas has everything you need to get to Vegas, including new wide-body 767s with three classes of travel. Call today for all-inclusive charter, group, or custom travel packages. 591-4777. Vacations Hawaii, your reliable and direct connection to Las Vegas. That's all the time we have on this episode of Energy Today. Be sure to check out our Facebook and Twitter pages at the links below. And don't forget to check us out every Mondays at 6 on OC16. Aloha and stay green, Hawaii.